Instagram is arguably one of the most popular social medias that has come around in the last couple of years. And journalists, I'll be honest with you, are still trying to figure out how to use it. Um, it is an immediate uh, photo sharing site. Now, one of the big appeals has been, of course, that you can change your pictures with different filters. We don't want to be doing that as journalists. Uh, you know, we have a responsibility to accurately depict what we've seen, not manipulate it, not change it in ways that are, are going to alter it, its uh, its meaning or its authenticity. So. If from that purpose, we have less need for something like Instagram. But the ability to get photos out right away and to, to get people following uh, the subjects that you're reporting on, that is a, a very valuable tool. And that's why journalists are looking at Instagram to see how they can use it. So here's an example of uh, NPR um, has its own Instagram, and it basically shows pictures. I mean, we all know NPR is radio, so it's not like they're you know reliant on images but they are getting images and they do have a website that they populate with stories and images and so this is a place you can see they posted 259 photos already they have 213,000 followers so you know this is what they're doing is they are uh, creating a place where we can go and look at pictures so here's an example of uh, NPR's Instagram page so um, around the earth that moon was pretty super uh, talking about um, on, in June, uh, we had a, a supermoon that was especially close. So um, you can see that there's pictures. Here's a, another picture story they did on what happens to an Olympic city. But, you know, here are photos that were taken um, that they're just, you know, they're sharing with us. Uh, and then we can take a look at some other uh, pictures that they have. So this is pretty much kind of what we're doing with Instagram is uh, being able to capture pictures. You can not only capture your own pictures, but of course you can have uh, people post to your Instagram if you uh, want to have, uh, you know, pub the uh, kind of eye reporting. So basically we're using Instagram as for branding and, and to engage our viewers and our readers and uh, to get people involved in another way. Um, it's, it's just it's one more way that we can be social through social media. We're also using it, again, as I mentioned, to crowdsource. So we can, in terms of getting other people uh, who are uploading pictures, so if you have a situation like the Boston Marathon bombing, of course there are people who are taking pictures there. They're posting to Instagram. We're able to find those pictures, contact those people, say, hey, can we use your picture? in our uh, publication and our broadcast or whatever and you'll notice there's a lot of that activity now taking place. So, you know, here's the Wall Street Journal on Instagram. This is one of the official accounts that you're going to see. Um, and basically, it's uh, the major ones that, that we've noticed that are using them, as I showed you, NPR, the Wall Street Journal, um, the New York Times, New Yorker, Vanity Fair. These are all using Instagram. Now, in addition to you know, the, the uh, corporate uh, official accounts that we see. We also have photographers who are using them personally. So here's an example of Evan Vucci, who is a photojournalist for Associated Press. Um, and he's one of the people that AP is encouraging to use their personal Instagram feeds in a professional capacity. So these are things that he shot on assignment that may not make it into a story, but he's able to promote himself. And this goes into that kind of personal branding that we've talked about, the ability to get your name and your work out there even more so than the publication you work for or but in our case, before we work for a publication. So, you know, one thing Instagram, people say about it versus other social networks is that you really feel news. So you, you get a real, whenever you're dealing with visual imagery, it evokes emotion. Um, it's really, it's, it takes the least amount of effort for it to be incorporated into your thought process. So that's what we're looking for from Instagram is to, is to connect with people on a social network, uh, dealing with our news creation and our, our news consumption, but one that helps them feel the news that they're experiencing. So, you know, we're still getting these kind of stylized photos and these on-the-go location shoots. We're also getting an outlet for eyewitnesses. So whenever you have something that's happening in your community that you're interested in getting pictures of, and, and we all know they're cutting photo staffs like crazy, uh, Chicago Tribune, of course, laid off their entire photo staff. CNN did something similar with all their, their videographers. So, um, you know, we need to be sure that we are accessing information where we can, and this is another great platform for that. There are limits, though, and the big one is uh, you're not going to see it on Twitter. So Twitter and Instagram are uh, not playing nicely with each other. Instagram, uh, of course, has been purchased by Facebook. So um, 
it's just not something at this point that we're going to be seeing on Twitter. And we also know that Instagram uh, had a pretty big to do when it uh, was saying that it was going to utilize the photos that were uploaded there, that you, they were going to be allowed to use them for ads. So just know that when you put your stuff up there, as it is with everything that you put up, it's public and it's in the public domain. And even though you may feel like, well, this is my photo, it's copyrighted, whatever, it's really not until you're willing to fight someone in court for it. So just know that before you get shooting, but uh, I really encourage you to start using Instagram. Great place to store your pictures, great place to really post things instantaneously. So rather than having to go through the whole process of uploading individually to Facebook or uploading individually to Twitter, you can upload to Instagram and then post to both of those things.